This is Twit. What Free Code Camp is really trying to solve for is just busy people who want to learn to code so that they can steer their career in a more technical direction. And it's really focused on that. Adults uh, who are already out of school uh, or are working full time or who have kids, who have a lot of responsibilities, who want to be able to learn in a way that's very time efficient and convenient. And so Free Code Camp is completely free. It's socioeconomically need blind, as they would say. Um, you don't have to have a credit card or anything. You just go there and you can start working through interactive coding challenges at your own convenience. And if it takes you six months to earn a certification, great. If it takes you two years to earn a certification, that happens to people too. Uh, the point is that it's a proven way to steer your career in a more technical direction and thousands of people are getting developer jobs every year that are coming out of the free code game community and i just want to emphasize something that you just brought up and i hadn't thought about this this is self-paced i can do it when i've got an hour in an evening you know around my busy schedule i can do the, the, i did the first five lessons and each lesson only took me maybe 30 seconds so it seems to be in very small divisible parts so i can just scale it to my own free time. Is that accurate to say it that way? Yeah, absolutely. I When I designed the initial curriculum, a big part of that was trying to make everything small enough chunks that people could sit down and make some amount of progress, even if they only had 15 or 20 minutes. And so how did the original curriculum come about? Is that something you just started from scratch and said, here's what I want to do? Yeah, I'd been working on tools for learning to code for a couple years and I decided that I just wanted to pare everything down and make it as simple as possible and really focus on convenience as the core value offering, if you will. Um, and so I created an initial curriculum over the course of a few days and then uh, the open source community came in and we just rapidly iterated on that and it eventually evolved to what we have today, which is uh, about 1400 interactive coding challenges in our core curriculum uh, plus a whole lot of additional uh, interview practice and projects you can build just for practice and things like that. So are, the, are these are these courses, uh, the curriculum stuff, is that in some open source repository? Yes, everything's open source. It's If you just go to github.com slash freecodecamp slash freecodecamp. Wow, okay. And how, what, how many different contributors do you think you have at this point? Uh, for this repo, I think we have uh, maybe like six or 800 last I checked. For wow. all the different repos, we've got uh, more than a thousand unique contributors. I'm guessing also that the website itself is um, one of the other repos, right? That's correct. So learn.freecodecamp.org. Uh, if you go to free code, or github.com slash freecodecamp slash learn, that's the actual curriculum uh, and the learning uh, interface, like the learning platform. And uh -huh. the curriculum is a separate repo that we bundle on NPM. Uh, and so anybody can require the entire free code camp curriculum as a dependency on their project. So if they wanted to hypothetically build like a, a mobile client or if they wanted to fork free code camp, it's as easy as including an NPM package. Was Are there a technology behind free code camp um, useful for other other content sort of things? I mean, if you wanted to build one that's about uh, – uh, racing motorcycles could would this still be useful for that? Yeah, you could use. Uh, I mean, it's focused on interactive learning, so it would probably be better yeah. suited for like if you had like a multiple choice, you know, quiz yeah. or something, or or some sort of inter interface where you're dragging parts together and building a motorcycle. Um, those kinds of things might be possible on our learning management uh, system. Uh, that said, um, again, it's it's really designed primarily to help free code camp and anybody who forks it and is able to build something useful out of it, that's just icing on the proverbial cake. 